morning. This is uh, Saturday before the Leadville 100. Uh, on the road, been on the road a couple hours now, and going through Iowa. We're heading out, obviously, to Leadville, Colorado. Um, no exact plans other than to get there today. Um, yeah, so been preparing this ever since the, the lottery. Um, put my name in for the last few years and see, just see what will, what would happen. Looking for you know the hundred milers that challenge um, that keep pushing me. Um, I love the mines of Spain. I do it every year because it is challenging. Um, but you gotta have a little variety. So this year we're gonna go see what Leadville has to offer. Um, and I'm still doing mines. Always doing mines. Um, Get some more on the way, but otherwise, it's so far cool morning. Love the clouds, pink in it. Uh, gonna camp for the first couple of nights. Gonna uh, hopefully hike tomorrow morning up uh, Sherman uh, with the guy I know, uh, John, and we'll go from there. All right, let's get some miles down the route. Well, I have made it to Colorado Springs, and I'm gonna try and check out the incline. So, never been here. This has been on my list um, for quite some time. So, let me take a look. Shit, yeah, look at that thing. Should be fun. We're climbing. Hell yeah. Hey, look at that. Whew. We are 1600. Holy hell. Let's see how the rest of this goes. Whew. Steepy. There's a 1,800 foot area. How much further is it? Anyone know? Not a thousand. Another thousand. Another thousand. We are getting up there 2,300 on the Manitou incline. Whew! Nothing like rocking it from sea level. View is gorgeous. Kids, when you see this, do the adventure. Do the thing. Never say no to the adventure. This is worth it. I'm gonna be tired and sore, but I'm gonna love it. Not bad going from 500 feet above sea level in Cambridge, Illinois this morning to this. After this, two more hour drive to Leadville. Be later than I want. Worth it. All right. Coming up to the top of the incline. It's all right, Renee. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, you look, you look good. Like, you look jacked. Hell yeah. <laughs> this is what it's all about, guys. <laughs> Great views descending the bar trail. Gorgeous, actually. A lot of fun. A lot of fun, guys and gals. Enjoy it.
right, good morning. We are in Leadville, heading to the base of Mount Sherman. Uh, we're gonna do that this morning. It is Sunday, so this time next weekend I'll be finishing the Leadville 100. Uh, right now, uh, I'm following John and Sean up to the trailhead, so hopefully it's a relatively nice hike. And uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, should be fun today. I'm excited and uh, gonna take it easy the rest of the day. I'll get some stuff from around town as we go through the week. But after today, I'm gonna try and start peeling back a little bit and taking it more and more easy. So, all right, be well, everyone. It's the mines going through the old mining area. On the way up to Sherman still, but forgot about this because last time I drove this was in the dark a couple of years ago. Last Saturday, he was on Hope. He's doing the race. And he's failed three times. He's hoping he can finish this year. And it might rain on us, so. The sun's coming out on Sherman. Windy. That's a rainbow. That's an awesome rainbow. Yeah. Fucking A. Yeah. That's nice. great, guys. Yeah. So, that's as far as I made it last time. Yeah. Was that that pole over there? Yeah. That pole. <laughs> you can. <laughs> Are you cold? No. Oh, okay. No, I just. Is oh, it? No. Going the other direction. You ordered it all for us, didn't you? I know, man. You got it. You got it. Wow. You got it, man. We had a little bit of everything. Hot Rain, wind, sleet, snow. Having it all. And rainbows. So, Shane. Hey, here, what's up, brother? Shane hey, and John. Like Spider Man meme. Yeah, yeah. You know? Hell yeah, guys. <laughs> Look at the cloud just rolled in on us. What a world we're in. That's funny. Top of the world. Alright. I intend to, when I'm on my crippled bed, yeah. to look at these pictures and videos. And... Yeah. That's right. Like, don't, don't be, feel sorry for me when I'm dying. I'll fucking sell it all. That's yeah. right. I did it. The deal. Albert or massive or anything. No. Well, you can see, you can see Hope Mountain barely, but yep. Elvis right there. The tip of Elvis all covered. Tell my daughter I had a hit her cookie on the top of the mountain. And we all got to get to one side here though. Ah, fuck that hurt. Ah. Yeah, we all. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get up high enough. Yeah. Did you get us? Vertically challenged. There we go. All right. Barely, barely, barely. Yeah. We got to cut my shoes. Fucking. My 
still hurt. Yeah, I had to find her. <laughs> Sheridan Double. Those boobies is what we're going to call that one because of the look on the map. Um, and here's the road. This is so fun. Oof, no. Good thing everything's new in this thing. <laughs> Check out any problems it's got. Alright. Hey, I uh, forgot to pull the GoPro out today. Um, Spent the day visiting Twin Lakes all morning, walking around, took a nice easy hike, didn't go up anything, but walked the trail to Hope Pass. Um, I could get a video on my phone though of the water crossing. Uh, calf deep, um, fun. Uh, you can see where they had adjusted the route just a hair for a fallen tree, um, right at the edge of the water crossing. Um, yeah, that was, was pretty cool, pretty fun. A little over four mile walk. Um, then took the long drive. Went to Winfield for the first time. I've never been there. Um, drove all the way out there. That road's a hoot. <laughs> it took me an hour to do 11 miles. Uh, just because of how banged up, tore up it is. Yeah, and I don't want to bang up the old Escape anymore. She had a rough uh, couple weeks leading up to this. So... Uh, and she's been doing a lot of off-roading anyways out here. So, um, yeah, it was cool. A ghost town, um, but to see some of the historical buildings, uh, the school is really cool with the voice. Um, yeah, I did some drive around sightseeing that way. And then, uh, came back to Leadville for a little bit just to, uh, um, get a few things out and, uh, uh hit the grocery store real quick i needed some more ramen <laughs> and uh um yeah now i'm at turquoise lake i really love these uh um uh, they're not regular campgrounds they're basically come as you are campgrounds no facilities or anything but you just show up and camp um and enjoy it um did half moon last night beautiful beautiful spot in half moon uh actually ended up staying next to uh shannon and his dad and uh now we got a little fire a little camp groundy area and then if i walk just a little bit start getting some of the good views so some of the mountains in the background there's been some spotty rain uh, I don't think we're going to get anything anymore. It's kind of pushed out for the night. 
but yeah, just kind of see the mountains. Kind of what you're supposed to while you're here. See the mountains. So, all right, uh, it's been a good Monday, and uh, tomorrow I'm going to jog a little bit around here, do an actual run, not just a hike. Probably do one tomorrow and Wednesday, and then that'll be it. Nothing serious. Just to stretch out. And, uh, yeah. Keep climatizing and getting ready for Leadville. Alright, good morning. We are mostly going to hike this. We're going to go check out Powerline. Haven't seen it yet. Don't think I'm going to go all the way up. Just want to... Be a little more acclimating, see the things, get to know it, be ready. So, all right, well, let's do this. All right, there's the start of the power line climb. Just gonna power hike it. Don't think I'm gonna go all the way up, but it's cool. See what the heart does. Resting heart rate's gotten back down. Um, my run kept it in the 140s. That was nice. So still feel a little bit, but I'm definitely feeling some adjustment over the first two days. So, excited, ready for Saturday. It's cool shit. Hey Tara, when you see this, that's what you gotta take me up in the dark. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> All right, going down the back side of the first climb. That was fun. Not trying to run hard. Pretty. So that was 500 feet again in a mile from the car. I stopped and talked to a couple guys that just done it. Both doing their first hundred out here. So from Texas, a couple of Texas boys and their uh, their dad was there with them. So. Wish them luck. Good chat. Talked fueling. So, having fun. Went up only another third of a mile. Not trying to overdo it today. Blow nothing out. But it was good to see what that's going to be like. A little flavor. Um, yeah. Uh, decent hike I got 586 on the vert I'll get a little bit more on this little uh, uphill coming up but uh, yeah this power line so Watching the pace. There we go. 11. During the race, I'm really going to want to watch this. I don't want to blow my quads this early. So, I want to keep it around 12 for the race. So, Pretty out here. So pretty.
there's the little back hill climb i'll get you on the down cool another cool view it's like you don't run out of them out here top of power line or this section of it before the big down good i'm taking it easy there's the real top here's what i'm doing <laughs> i'm being smart don't work too hard um you know i probably am there already anyways but yeah this view is epic let's see you're gonna come here on the way out look down and i'm pretty sure all that big dust you see down there on the right that's where our bound is that's where we're heading so we will be working to get there at this point 20 ish miles into the race coming down for a little while so but here's here's the tricky pasture how do you get to something like what's coming up and not want to just bomb the shit out of it <laughs> where's Aaron when I need her I can see where guys just blow the fuck up on this. So. The bike guys, that's gotta be fucking insane going down this thing. I would lose every time on a bike. So. All right, that's a 10.45 pace. Slow that down. More happy hikers. All right, more from the bottom. All right, so that was power line 2.4 just as far as I wanted to do and push it um, yeah feel good now the rest pretty much gonna rest the whole rest of the day take it easy Jim should be here a couple hours and be relaxing at the cabin tonight so yeah it's it's fun it's nice go do it We are going up Buckeye. Oh, cool stream. Nice little view down. It's a cool little hiking trail. I'll take this over a 14. Yeah, me too. Nice leisurely stroll with it too. I have people I want to see. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? I'll also see all of those people. Yeah. I'll see them at Twin Lakes. <laughs> That's yeah. right. And if they don't make it to Twin Lakes, it just wasn't meant to be. That's right. Important thing is my hair looks good. I just combed it. Your hair looks great, man. It's a nice little mountain here. It is. Like I said, I'll take this over some of those 14 Oh yeah. Nice easy trail too. It was nice of him to make it a fire road for us. <laughs> must have known we were coming. That's right. Leisurely stroll.
Just getting my hair extra oxygen. Hair is getting extra oxygen. Climbing Buckeye. Nice and slow though. You can't beat these views. Going up to the pond. Almost there. We were the dumbasses. We avoided the switchbacks. We climbed up. <laughs> yeah. When did it get your heart rate up to 135? Hey, that's exactly what I just saw. <laughs> I looked down and I was like, okay, let's see where we're at. And we're almost, oh, 1,666 feet. 11,000. We needed 150 vert today. 11,666. Gorgeous though. All right, we found her. Hey. Woo! Wow. Stunning. Bird. Yeah. Birds. Bird. Are there fish in here? I would guess not, but maybe. Depends how deep that is. There's a lot of green. There is a lot of green. So that tells me there probably is fish. Or some sort of life. Or it's just from the plants. Who These knows? bushes are insane. Yeah. It's getting oxygenated. Oh yeah. I mean, it can support life. 100%. There's a duck. There is a duck. Low flying. Or high flying. Wow. Yeah. 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 These feet are about to get real cold. Oh yeah, not as bad as I thought though. It actually feels good on the legs. This is awesome. This actually really does feel pretty good on the legs. This broke the glass too. Oh yeah. That's one thing I love about Havelina. Yeah. At the camp, yeah, no glasses allowed. Nice, they catch you with it. He was automatically DQ, DNS. Wow. Coming down, Buckeye. Mm, the water's just rushing from where we were. I mean, it's got constant flow through that that lake. Oh yeah, yeah, somebody drove up there in the past. Somebody still drives up to this, but right. ain't gonna be any of our vehicles. There he goes. Yeah. 
a little bounding ground. You want a trot? Go ahead. A no, huh? a oh, a truck. I want a truck. Yeah, God, yeah. I want a truck too. <laughs> Finishing up the Buckeye Trail. It's kind of nice. Aspens. Dog. You're about a. You're a little farther ahead of me. You got like 0.05 on me. Yeah. I, I think I stopped. Oh, okay. Plus, you wandered all the way up. Right. Completely. <laughs> Key yeah. The side versus mine. Right, right, right. So we should have about 0.15. Yeah.